Hey guys, Personal Defense, and we are looking at a 30 round P mag, uh, chambered. Well, I guess it's not chambered, is it? It's for the uh, 5.56 by 45 millimeter cartridge or 223. And today I'm going to show you um, since there is this big old magazine scare going on right now, uh, and sometimes the only, the only ones you can find are these kind of steel looking ones. This one's a Colt one or you know these black steel ones and I know a lot of people really like these PMAGs because they're a little bit tougher and uh, they feed a lot better I'm going to show you how to enhance a quick and fairly cheap way to enhance your steel magazine <laughs> Alright, so if we take off the dust cover off this PMAG, you'll notice that it has a PMAG, or I'm sorry, a uh, Magpul anti tilt follower. Why it's not focusing, I'm not sure. Um, but that's what they look like. Uh, they come in different colors. I've seen white, I've seen yellow, and I've seen this kind of, uh, I guess that's like an olive drab foliage green. Anyway, I've seen that color too, and uh, let me just show you a big difference here. This is a a Colt, like a military surplus Colt AR-15 magazine steel. See, it says Colt down there. Anyway, this is uh this type of follower here is a typical follower you're going to see in these steel magazines. It kind of has this big round uh, bulge there, whereas you know the Magpul one looks more square and uniform. But anyway, here's the big difference here, and you know the Magpul ones are called anti-tilt, and I'll show you exactly what that means. When you push in on the follower on the Magpul, see how it goes down straight? And if you push in right here on the end, same thing, see how it goes down straight? Well, if you take this Colt Steel one and push down on the follower, see how like crazy it goes? And if you push on the end here, look at how it just dips down. And if you push hard enough, you can get it stuck like that. Um, I mean, I think I think this is the type of stuff that the military uses. And I don't know if there's any misfeeds or jams or anything because of the magazines. I had another magazine. It wasn't a Colt one. I don't remember what it was, but it was gray like this. And the follower was a little bit different than this one. And I used to have all kinds of feed issues with that magazine, and I now blame it on the follower. So uh, most of your steel magazines are, that you're going to get nowadays are going to have this kind of follower. I uh, bought these Teflon-coated ones from Pri Primary Arms, and they came with Magpul followers, anti-tilt followers installed. You can see when you push there, it just goes straight down. It's just a better design of follower, and... Um, I think it's a, it's a good way to enhance your steel mags if you have some. So for about $8 on Amazon, you can buy a three-pack of these enhanced self-leveling followers, Magpul. And on the back here, you can see it says for AR-15, M16, aluminum magazines. Um, and actually, here's the part number. As I said, they make different colors. See, this says mag110-yel for yellow. I've seen white, and I've seen this... Uh, brownish. Oh, look, I think actually these are, no, those are the same. No, those are different colors. Like one's brown, one's, I would call the one in the mag, in the PMAG uh, foliage green and that, I guess, dark earth maybe. Anyway, and then these say uh, 556, like that dark earth does. So I'll uh, show you real quick how to put those in there. I also have these uh, USA magazines. Um, they say on the package, quality, wait, quality American-made handgun and rifle magazines. And uh, if you compare them to the Colt, they're not near as nice. I mean, the follower, number one, looks way shittier. And it's the same thing, you know. And uh, the bottom, the base plate, isn't as nice as the Colt. You can see the Colt kind of has two uh, detents there that hold this base plate on, whereas this one doesn't. 
Um, but I'll show you how to take off both of these and do the uh, followers on both of them. We'll start with the Colt, and all you'll need is a uh, small flat bladed screwdriver. So on the Colt or anyone that has this kind of style base plate, you're just going to stick your uh, flat bladed screwdriver in here like this, straight on, and just kind of pop it up and pull it back like that. And you'll see it pop off just like that. And then if you have to, you can take your screwdriver and kind of pry it this way, but I don't have to here. And then when you start to see spring, you just kind of want to put your thumb over the spring because it's under pressure there. After you get the base, the base plate off, just kind of you know, put it off to the side and slowly release the spring pressure. Out comes the spring and we'll pull out and uh, pull out the follower here. So now we're left with an empty magazine. Um, you can see the spring is kind of wrapped around and then goes through a hole in the follower right there. And this one's actually not too bad, but sometimes you kind of have to push it off to the end like there and you pry it out. Sometimes you have to use a screwdriver. I think this one I can get away with just using my finger because it's pretty got a pretty good gap maybe yeah there we go all right so there's the follower and uh, here's my new magpul one and we'll just compare them I'm not really saying that you're gonna have issues or problems with this follower I'm just saying I believe you'll have you'll be less likely to have issues or problems with these uh, Magpul anti-tilt ones. So anyway, we can toss that one off to the side. Remember how it came out of this how to, it came out of the magazine because that's the way it's going to go in. But it, pretty much you can see here the loop where the hole goes because if you try to put it this way, it's totally off. So it's almost you know idiot proof. So we're just going to put this. Uh, the loop back into the hole there and on this one the first loop of the spring there goes into there so you have it and then the spring goes kind of there's like a rounded off area I don't know if you can see it there it's meant to fit this spring in there so it holds the spring in place pretty much um, which is number one why it's better than these kinds Okay, so after that's all it is to install that onto the spring. After that, you just uh, take your magazine, make sure you're putting this in the right way. It's going to go up like that, and we'll just slide it in. And you can see already the grooves on the follower fit the grooves in the magazine on the back here and the front, which is why it's a uh, anti-tilt or self-leveling as they call it so you just want to make sure it's up here straight in the top as it is then you're going to uh, compress the spring down make sure it's not getting caught on the edges and all the way into the magazine body like this and you're going to take your base plate that you took off earlier And I'm just going to kind of get it f just hooked on the first one there. Make sure my magazine looks straight inside there. And I'm going to slowly just kind of push in the magazine down while I'm pushing this in. Making sure I get it underneath these tabs. And it will snap into place. And you can tell those little detents are, are in place there. And if you try and push it off, it won't come off. And now... We push on it. We have that nice uh, self-leveling anti-tilt feature that comes with these magazines. Also, it's a nice bright yellow, so you know when you do a uh, chamber check or whatever, you can tell you're empty when you're shooting. Moving on to these USA brand of magazines, you can still see the follower is similar to the one that was in the Colt, uh, in as far as shape. But it looks, um, the, the plastic or polymer or whatever it is, looks to be a little bit crappier. 
Also, these are brand new, they've never been used. Uh, the base plate on this one's a little bit different. It doesn't have that kind of flipped up bottom like the Colt had, and it doesn't have the detents that hold it into place. This one, same thing, just need a little flat blade screwdriver. And instead of on the back, this time you're going to stick, there's a little notch in the front here. You're just going to stick your screwdriver in there and just kind of pry it open like that. Same thing when you're pushing it open. Be careful, that spring is under pressure. So once you start to see spring, you know, just kind of cover it with your thumb, pull your base plate off, and then slowly release the spring pressure. And I can already tell the spring in the Colt was much better than the spring in this one. Look at it, you can tell looking at this spring. And the follower wasn't even like attached, so here's the follower. That was in the USA one. And here's the uh, Magpul follower that I'm going to put into it. Sorry, the Magpul one is just so bright that the camera like has a hard time picking it up. You can see this is actually a crappier follower. Because um, it just has this. It has nothing in the front. Where at least the Colt tried to have something in the front so it wouldn't tilt. This one doesn't. This is a really crappy follower. And I think most of your steel magazines, if you have those steel surplus style, are going to be like this. So this is, you know, a good reason of why you should change these out. So like I mentioned, we're going to take the, the front of it. It only goes one way. It's pretty much idiot proof. Just like that. This spring is not near as nice as the uh, um, spring in the at all at all. So we're just going to slide this back in the correct way. A little bit tighter of a fit in this magazine, but it's going in. Okay. And it's up at the top. Just verify that it looks level and straight. I'm going to put the rest of the spring in here. You know, I'm really disappointed with this spring um, compared to the uh, Colt and the follower. So now we're going to slide this back on. And remember, this one attaches from the back forward. So you just kind of hook it on there. Just hook it on so you get some of the spring like that. Just kind of look in there, verify the spring's not hung up or anything. And then just slide this on slowly, making sure that you get it underneath all the tabs. There's a little in detent back here so it doesn't slide back. And you want to leave that little notch that we had. Just kind of make sure it's squared up on the, on the magazine body. That's really all you need to do. And now we're done. And we'll just do a, kind of a little check, push, make sure it doesn't tilt. And that's it. So as of today, which is 12, uh, 28, 2012, these PMAGs are extremely hard to find nowadays. And uh, it seems like everyone's making a mad dash to try and find them. And I've seen, you know, I think when I bought these, I paid like 15 bucks a piece, 14 bucks a piece. I've seen them go for 60 you know, upwards of $60. Um, and it's a good quality magazine. So, as of today, if you can't find these, don't get discouraged because if you have a bunch of these military surplus style, they can easily be made to be much more reliable and feed much more reliable with, um, you know, an $8 three pack of, of Magpul anti tilt followers. And then you can get rid of these kind of crappy. Uh, I don't even know what to call them. Surplus followers. This one, this one on those USA mags is crap. But um, anyway, I hope uh, you guys this helped you guys out. And I really, I really do think if you guys have these magazines, you should invest the eight dollars for three of those followers. You'll uh, you'll thank me for it. Thanks for watching.